This is a shower in a recently purchased home that my sister purchased. It's a 1969 brick home. And I could not handle the tile. She was going to leave it. And I was like, no, there's a quick fix. So I'm going to show you how I quick fixed this bathroom in under $100. First, I can't handle the color of the sink. I love their painted cabinets, but the countertops are very, very 1980s. And so I started with sanding down the shower tiles and cleaning up any of the edges and any of the soap scum and any of the grime from the last 50 years. Sanded it down with 220 grit. And I used the fine grit because it didn't scratch the tiles at all. We just were trying to clean it all up really, really well. And it did. It did just that. I might start cleaning my showers with sandy now. Mm. Anyways, so that's the first step. And then I used bleach, and I bleached all of the tile. I bleached the floor. I scrubbed the floor, and I used... I used a wipe, a disinfectant wipe, and scrubbed the bleach down and rinsed the, it with water and scrubbed all the, the dirt and the grime off. You want the tiles really, really clean so that the adhesive we use sticks and the paint and adhesive together stick. So I used Rust-Oleum tub and tile. I used two boxes. You can do basically two coats with one box and you can see it goes on really really easy it's a two-part formula a and b so that it adheres to the tile itself and so that it doesn't peel off and it's very very runny and very very potent so you mix for a really long time to get it all together and then when i started applying i wore a mask and took breaks so that I could breathe fresh air and it rolls on really smooth. I liked the roller because it evens it out because it's so thin paint that it drips. So the roller I would suggest over a paintbrush, the paintbrush, everything started dripping. I painted all the grout lines with a paintbrush and then I went back over with a roller, the foam rollers actually got eaten away by the formula and so I used two two foam rollers and one of them both of them left specks here's the final reveal the last two coats I used a roller but not foam and I used just an adhesive tape over the top that you can find at Home Depot or Lowe's for the counter and this shower looks like new I am so excited. It looks completely different and I couldn't be happier with it. I left uh, about an hour between coats to dry and I worked on the countertops so I had some fresh air and I'm so happy with how it turned out.